Hello, and welcome to this series from HPE Networking Instant On. My name is Stephen Olguin. I am the Global Product Marketing Manager for HPE Networking Instant On. Today, we're going to show you how to create a new site with the new Instant On Cloud 3.0 interface. For those of you with a singular site, you will be brought to this screen upon login. It's the new six tile view that shows your site health, top alerts, clients that are connected, network status regarding any sort of wired or wireless devices, uh, any plugged in devices, whether that's switches or access points and their statuses and the application overview. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, from this screen, you'll click the home button, which will bring you up to your managed sites. On the right hand side in the upper right, you will see a create site orange button. We'll select that and go ahead and set the site name. For this one, we'll be using test site two, Spring. You'll see a new geolocation feature has been added when deploying sites, devices, uh, any sort of information that we can use from the device. And you can see with this one, it's uh, approximated to Pasadena, Texas. That is not correct, it's close. Uh, so what we will do is zoom out on the map so that we can find Spring, Texas. We'll zoom into the HPE offices. We'll go ahead and click about where we are in the building and select change location. From here, we'll go ahead and select next and we'll see that we're searching for devices. I have an AP27 that is set up and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and select that. You'll see that it immediately found the device that is currently plugged in and ready to go. And we will select the access point AP27 and create site. Uh, we'll operate this as an access point and the site will work on being created. So you'll see we've got the new site stood up, ready to go. It does show where the address is for the new site. Uh, and you'll see that it's currently onboarding the AP27 right now. Um, in the next video, we will work on showing you how to clone a site from an existing using parameters, uh, as well as setting up new networks within the sites that you've created. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.